1931 Ford. 31. Uh, it's really called a street rod. It's not really uh, stock. The, right. the body's all metal. Uh, motor is a 350 Chevy, 330 horse. All right. Has automatic transmission, uh, rack and pinion steering, right. independent front suspension. Uh, all new gauges and everything put in. New steering wheel, tilt steering wheel, and the whole thing. So it's, yeah, it, it's a it's a fun toy. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? So you have uh, all the modern amenities and the classic classic body yeah, style. Yeah, that, that's that's all it is. Is the body yeah. itself is is uh, original. The rest of it's all been changed. Yeah. You know the uh, everything's redone. So with all new stuff. So it's basically a. A new car with an old body. Right. You know, but uh, drives nice. It's a it's a family car. Yeah. We have oh, a lot of fun. She's a nice one. Yeah. 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 yeah two doors and now. I see you got a sunroof in it too. It's That's got a, a sunroof trick, in yeah. it. It's electric yeah. and it actually works. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Originally, they had a they had a canvas. Uh, a canvas roof. top in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the early days, we used to take uh, and fill those in with tin when we were building the hot rods back then. Well, it's got the uh, Chevy Monte Carlo seats in it too. Uh -huh. They tilt out so you can get into the back of the car. Wow. And, Very uh, nice. The back of the seats rounded off, so it's good for the kids. The kids get in the back and uh, oh yeah, okay. Sit back there, and we don't have to worry about them. Cool. Well, good luck and thanks for the. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. See you around. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're looking at a very beautiful 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door hardtop. Red looks like an original interior. Later model running gear. Excuse me, is this your car? No, sir. No, sir, no? Yeah. It's a sweetheart, though, isn't it? It certainly is pretty. Yeah, man. That was the best of the Tri Fives. Absolutely. I wonder who owns this thing. Do you know who owns this car? What's this? The 57. No, I don't know. I'm not... Oh, okay. You mean the Chevy? Yeah. That's the classic, man. It is. My wife had one of them. As a yeah. Fact. Oh, yeah. All white with a Continental on the back. Oh, yeah. They were sweet. That was one of the first real, real quick ones too. With the, yeah. Had a 283. Got fuel yep. injection. Yep. Four speed. Yeah, she was a sweetheart. This looks like a fairly stock one, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, real nice. All digitized, looks like. Very nice. This was originally a two-door coupe, which meant it had a it had a pillar right in here, and the top has top has been chopped. Okay, the top's been chopped. The center pillar's been removed. It's now a hard top. It's got instead of the original rubber running boards, they've they've made smooth running boards. Got the exhaust exiting out of the running boards. It's very very well done, an exceptional vehicle. Quite nice. Man, 1950, uh, 49. 50, 49 Mercs look a lot alike. It was a classic in the 50s. The lead sleds, a beautiful paint job, a metallic burgundy looks like. Nice interior work. More or less a traditional interior from the 50s. Uh, rolled and pleated, Naga hide looks like. Uh, got a modernized dash, a traditional looking dash, but all new gauges. Uh, Sandy and Betty forever, okay. Sweet short, sweet short. How you doing? You wouldn't be the lucky man who owned this vehicle, would you? Oh, you own that one. That's a sweetheart. We were looking at that earlier. All right. Fond memories, yes indeed. Oh, there's Joe. Want to tell us anything about your car? Uh, it's a 1953 Buick, uh, what's called a full custom. Started out as a two-door hardtop. Uh, we took, the, we cut the roof off and made it a working convertible. It has a 1964 Catalina working top. It has a 1963 Thunderbird interior with the swing-over column with Monte Carlo bucket seats. Mm. And it's a real, to me, an art statement. I mean, uh, people aren't going to be doing this anymore in 20 years. Yeah. The young kids growing up today are driving all these Japanese cars, which is there hot rod their era, their generation. Yeah, sure. So this is all going to disappear someday. I don't know yeah. what's going to happen. Who's going to build cars or actually cut cars up? Yeah. But this car is very unique. It has a Corvette driveline and a Corvette chassis. It has Packard taillights and Pontiac bumpers and a Cadillac trunk. And it goes on and on, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it's it's very sweet. painted in a special kind of PPG paint, mm -hmm. uh, Viper Red with um, a clear coat. 
and uh, it's a great cruise car. We won five national awards with the car. We drive the car a lot. Driven it I to see Florida. You in it. We've driven it to Florida. We've driven it to the Carolinas, uh, upstate New York. Won some major events with it. And it's on the Snap-on calendar this year. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a nice job of putting that T-Bird. Yep. In there. Full T-Bird. Yeah. Very cool. There goes my hat. Blowing in the wind. All right. <laughs> there to see you, Joe. All right. I've had the car uh, for 25 years and um, your name? Arthur French. I live in Wayne Scott and uh, the car was redone two years ago and uh, I Frenched the headlights. Mm -hmm. I put 41, these are 1941 Lincoln. Oh yeah, Lincoln, Lincoln push, push buttons. buttons. Uh -huh. put 54 Merc tail lights in the back, French those in. Okay. Uh, the That's interior a... is uh, rolled and pleated. Oh yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It was done down in 19, 1974. Uh -huh. When I did the in original interior, Very nice. and it's got got a flathead motor with uh, a Chrysler ignition in it, which makes it run better. Uh -huh. And these old flatheads now they uh, they don't they don't use them anymore. Right. But they were a dependable engine, and yeah. uh, you really you really didn't have any problems with them. They're very simple. You can see, set the points with a with a matchbook cover. Yeah. But I, I put a Chrysler ignition in this here to make it run uh, more electronic. dependable. Electronic. All electronic. Yeah. <clears throat> and the, the old flatheads, if you were to find a dress flathead, it would cost you about $18,000. Uh, right. Because the nostalgia people are yeah. getting old like us. You yeah, know, they, yeah. uh, they don't do that anymore. No, no. We, it's a dying art in a yeah. sense. I mean, our, uh, our generation is probably the last one that's going to, the new ones are, they don't have enough metal in them to do what they do to these cars, no. and they're not going to be around that long, you know. No, and this car here is, 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 as you can see, how straight this car is. Yeah, it's very straight. It's a dark burgundy, right? Pardon me? The paint is black. dark. It's black, black. huh? Yes, it's a I base guess it's, coat. Uh huh. It's a yeah. base coat with a clear coat on top of it. Yeah. It's uh, Sickens. It's a German, ah. it's a German paint. Nice, very nice. But the fender skirts, I mean, everything else on the car is. Uh, it's all it's original. Called, eh? It's called a mild custom. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time, they chop these roofs. They chop yeah. the roofs like Joe did. You know? Yeah. But yeah. I, I didn't want to do that. You know, this car. I've had this car, like I said. It's, for a long time, and it's, yeah. it's a labor of love. Labor well, of love. It looks like a 57 Caddy hubcaps. Absolutely, got those yeah. in uh, Oklahoma. Did you? Got them in Oklahoma. I had a 56 Bel Air two-door sedan and in 1960, 1964, I had, yeah. I had a set of them Caddy hubcaps. Well, in those days, they stole them, you know? Yeah, oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, no, it's, you know, it, it comes to a point where you, uh, you preserve them because uh, as you heard before with Joe that, uh, yeah. When we die off, they're not going to be doing this anymore. No, no. But the amazing thing is this is the only true American art form. Yeah. This is not done anywhere else in the world yeah. but the United States. Yeah, yeah. And it is a true art form. This was done by a fellow in um, Pennsylvania. His name is Jeff Ludwig. Hmm. And a young man, a young mm -hmm. guy. Well, young guy. But there's a lot of young, uh, young people taking up the... the uh, the habit, I call it, you know, the yeah. junkies, you know, old car junkies. Motorheads. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, his father, his father uh, did this, and uh, and he's, I think he's about 34, 35 years old. Right. And when I tell you meticulous, and of course in Pennsylvania, the labor rate in Pennsylvania is half is what it is. Sure, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half. Yeah, yeah. And the guy, if you went through this car, and, and friends of mine that are in this hobby, we went over this car. We couldn't find one thing where he made a mistake. Wow, yeah. Well, but that's his, good. his laid back attitude is, well, mm -hmm. I'll do the best I can. Yeah. And then when I went to pick the car up, I just stood in amazement. I said, holy mackerel. Right, yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. He did Thank a you. great job. Absolutely. Yes, he did. He did. I'm, I'm yeah. Just what part of Pennsylvania is that boy in? He's in Denver, Pennsylvania. Denver, which Pennsylvania. Is exit, exit 22. All right. But well, ironically, uh, Joe knew him, and I, I mean, I didn't know this fellow, and when I told him where the car was going, he said to me, you will be pleasantly surprised when you get your car back. <laughs> well, he just did a wonderful job. Every yeah. nook and cranny is polished, and I mean, it's just an exciting car. It is. Hi, how you doing? Uh, this is, uh, I'm Todd uh, Tereski from TLT Restoration, and this is my 1933 five window coupe. Uh, it's, uh, it has a 1932 uh, grill shell on it. It's a 33 body. It's got a uh, 1964 Corvette engine, 
Um, it's uh, got a four-speed transmission. It's basically a 1950s uh, hot rod, and uh, yeah. we've been enjoying it. Style. Yes, it's very classic style. Yeah, yeah. It still has the old uh, straight uh, axle drops with yeah, the buggy straight. spring and uh, split radiuses. And uh, you run an automatic or a standard? It's a four-speed. Four-speed. T10 four-speed. Wow. And it's got a Chevy uh, rear end in it, and uh, it's got a five. Uh, uh, 370 uh, uh, rear end gear. Oh, so, so it's a pretty good it gas mileage. Huh? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not yeah. bad. It's a round town type car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of fun with it, and uh, right. this show was really nice. And uh, I just had a show the previous week over in, um, in Watermill. And oh, we, okay. we had a good time over there. Yeah. Uh, weather was a little marginal, but uh, we, we got it in, and uh, we had a good time. And hopefully uh, next year we'll do the same thing on September 13th or whatever the date is on yeah. next year. And uh, maybe you guys can come to that. And sure. uh, we'll see you there. Okay. All right. Well, thank, good luck. Thank you very much. Car. All right. Thank Take you. Bye production replica from built in South Africa. The car is completely built down there. It comes up here without a motor and without a training. And you get shipped and they put it together and you get a motor and training of your choice in the car. And the car is just an absolute joy to drive. It's mm. fun, it makes noise, it's comfortable. And it just, it runs like a charm every time. And I love the looks and it's just it's the best tool to relax with. That's a classic car, right? Oh, I absolutely love it. Yeah. This is just something that I get into it. Every problem I got goes away. Yeah, that's a that's a full race flatty with with a supercharger. That is one rare item and one fast item. Pretty amazing. Very rare item. Oh man. Quite a trick. Quite a trick. Clippers and big and littles. Neato. Chevy. How you doing? Dave Samot, the uh, president of the uh, Bonnet Cruises uh, Classic Car Club in East Hampton. Uh, today we had our uh, first car show at the American Legion. American Legion was uh, a great uh, host to this show as well as uh, Matt Laspie. I wish I had Matt here. I know Mary Laspie is right here, who's uh, camera shy. But um, we've had a lot of people in the whole community come together to help us out with this show. Everybody's been fantastic. The sponsors, uh, the people that donated to the show. Uh, we probably had about 135 cars for the first car show in East Hampton over 10 years. And uh, it's going to be the beginning of something that uh, hopefully going to turn into a biannual situation. And, uh, the idea of the show is to basically help families in need in the area, help different people, community, uh, and um, it's, it's going to be something good. It's going to be unbelievable. Hopefully we'll be able to help uh, another family in May or April and uh, again in October. The benefit is going to uh, the Hector, Hector L. Lewis Samot uh, Scholarship Fund uh, and also pancreatic cancer. It was a pancreatic cancer benefit. Uh, I know a lot of people here have lost family members to uh, pancreatic cancer, and uh, we're going to do the best we can to help them support that cause and take, do the best we can for it. This is, young man. This is my son, Patrick. My name is Patrick Ficarelli. All right. And Glenn Ficarelli, say a All right. And tell us a little bit about your pick -em up I bought this... I bought this truck out in Carlisle, uh, Pennsylvania. I go a couple times a year, and I've had it now about 15 years. It was partially done. I did some work to it myself and got it back home here. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a 1953, all original. Um, it's just a ball. Every time I take it somewhere, somebody either wants to buy it, yeah. first thing they say. Oh, yeah. um, the old trucks are really coming back, like, of course, all the old cars. Yeah. It was just a beautiful day. It's a nice event today. Yeah, uh, yeah real nice. It's just a great thing to see as many people come out and cause it here. A lot of nice pieces. Um, hope they do it again. I hope it continues. Um, it's a great fundraiser, a great thing they've done. And uh, it's just a good good time. Absolutely. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks very much. Back to you. Oh, watch out. I don't want to get run over here. Yeah, you can say something. Um, I really had a good time today, and, and I like the truck too. <laughs> and, and your name, sir? My name's Richard Ruggles. Okay. 
Okay, Richard, you want to tell us a little bit about your willies? This uh, I got out in Ohio from a friend of mine. He had a couple of them out there, and I told him when he uh, gets ready to get rid of one, I'd like it. About five years later, he flat bedded it out for me, and uh, I had it restored. Oh, that's cool. Very good. It's a great, it's the, I got the F head uh, motor in it, right? You're asking the wrong guy. Oh, ah, okay. I've had, I've had several Willys myself in the past. I had a lot of the Jeepsters, and they had the same. The, uh, the F head, it's, it's a crossover between a flat head and the overhead. The valves, the exhaust valves are in the head, and, and the intakes are in the overhead. I just learned something. Yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're, uh, they're a very unusual motor. They did, they weren't widely used. But in fact, I don't know of any other manufacturer than Willys that did it. And it was when they were moving off the flathead into the overhead, they were experimenting with different things. You know. But it's a great truck, and it's the uh, four-wheel drive functions well. Everything it's, it's is uh, four-wheel drive. I had overdrive put in it so I could go over 35 miles an hour. Right. Yeah. I still have to pull over all the time and wave people on. Yeah, yeah. I can cruise at 40. Yeah. Without, uh, you know, with medium uh, RPM range. Right, right. Yeah, they weren't they weren't meant for high speeds. Uh, the roads weren't weren't high speed roads during those days. No. And this is uh, this represents 14 months worth of res uh, restoration, yeah. which uh, a local guy, Todd Tereski at TLT, did. Oh, well, he did a great job for you. Make it look a little better. Yeah. Is that an original color? That's, a... That's original color, and the, the trim, the darker color on uh -huh. the wheels and around the windows are original. Uh -huh. That I found by looking inside the glove compartment. The um, engine block was originally red. We found that out when we took the flywheel cover off. Uh -huh. There's a lot of other details that we yeah. that Todd's good at, like stainless steel exhaust system with the parts made from the manifold all the way oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah. Then that way you don't have to do it anymore. Yeah. Well, living out here with uh, yeah, salt with the in salt the air. And everything, you know, sure, absolutely, yeah. I put a new addition on my house so I could have a garage for it. <laughs> well, that was a worthwhile project. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Was. Well, that's just great. I see you got your correct uh, period, correct uh, New York yeah. plate. You yeah. may, I don't know if the sun is right, but if you, the, the tailgate is the uh, proudest part of me. Those usually, something rolls into it and wrecks yeah, it, or yeah. you back into something, and it's original tailgate in perfect shape yeah. with the WO on it. Yeah, well, I guess we have to go around and take a look at that tailgate here. Yeah, I can see you got a few little ripples in the, uh, in the bed there, but... Uh, yeah, that's a beautiful tailgate. I wanted to keep the original bed. It's too yeah. easy to put wood and metal slats in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's a real beauty. Nice chrome on her, everything. I don't see a ripple in the body anywhere. She, he did a really nice job. How you doing? John Fulhaber, uh, 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, got a worked uh, 396 big block in it. Uh, turbo 400 automatic transmission with a gated Hurst shifter. Ford 9 inch uh, 410 Posi rear. Um, car was done about 10 years ago. Uh, lowered front suspension with disc brakes. Uh, brake system's been redone uh, to accommodate a uh, uh, modern day uh, master cylinder. Um, car is very fast. Got 12 coats of um, acrylic black enamel on it. Interior's been done in a uh, gray uh, sort of tweed with a new headliner. Um, power steering with a uh, late model uh, Chevy steering column in it and a uh, Kenwood sound system.
going to be cool.